what's going on world today me and Kane are down in the Whitley County section of the Daniel Boone National Forest came down here to hike to one of my favorite waterfalls down in the area dog slaughter falls it's not the most dog friendly name especially taking a dog out here to it that's why me and Kane like to refer to it as dog slobber falls but we're gonna go out here and check it out should have some really good flow on it and we're also going to check out a off-trail waterfall, one that's been on my list for a while, but I usually kind of forget when I'm out here. Kehoe Falls, we're going to check it out. And then from there, we might head on down to the Cumberland River like we usually do. But we might go on out to Shell Toey Trace a little bit too, check out an arch just off the trail. But right now we're going to keep driving out Forest Service Road 195 down here to the second trailhead for dog slaughter falls makes it a little bit shorter hike so let's go out here hit the trail go check out the falls yeah right here at the beginning of the trail there's a footbridge to cross right here but the bridge is out been out for a while since early last year you can see that log on it big branch that fell off of probably that tree right there Kind of took it out. Makes it a little sketchy to cross. Usually I'll just come down across the stream. Cane's already on the other side, so let's cross the creek. Yes, yeah, so instead of crossing the creek like I'd kind of planned on, creeks up a little bit. Stepping stones I like to use are covered in water. Didn't really want to possibly get my feet wet this early into the hike. It's pretty cold out here. So instead, I kind of braced myself against the railing Worked my way across the bridge, climbed over that little tree there, made it over here safe. So from here, we're going to head on out the dog slaughter trail, out to the falls. But like I said, before we get out to dog slaughter falls, we're going to head off trail, go check out Kehoe Falls. So let's hike out here, go check out flow on these falls. All right, so right through here, I think is where we're gonna head off trail. Right here looks to be a fairly easy spot to cross the creek. Best looking spot we've seen so far. We're gonna cross here. This is where we're gonna go to access Keyhole Falls. Yeah, we'll just cross right across through there. Go check out the falls. There's a waterfall back in this watershed. I thought we were going up the watershed to Kehoe Falls, but 
That's not, that's the one right next to it. But we found this waterfall back in here. It's pretty nice. I was on the database last night and I didn't see another falls in this area besides Keyhole. So, like before, we're going to mark the GPS for this, submit it. Yes, so from this possibly undocumented waterfall that we stumbled upon, looking for Keyhole Falls, we're going to cut back just a little bit across the stream right down there, head up the hillside, follow the cliffside out and around the Keyhole Falls, and go check it out. Yeah, here we are at Kehoe Falls. Really nice falls back here. Back in this kind of little canyon type area. Pretty cool. Had a lot of contrast today. Bright sun shining, no clouds. A lot of contrast. Great flow on the falls here. Like I said, this is a new to me falls, so finally glad to get out here, cross it off been pretty nice seeing some new stuff on my hikes recently I'm always trying to find new places new things to see this being one of them pretty nice me and Kane are gonna hang out here just a minute I'm gonna let him get some food take a little break here and then we'll head on to dog slaughter falls yeah check this out there's a faint little rainbow at the bottom of the falls here. Pretty cool. Catching that sunlight just right. Get that rainbow to appear. Pretty nice. Alright, so from the falls, we're just going to follow the cliff line back out, back down to the creek. Try to find a spot to cross it back over. 
back to the trail. I'd kind of thought about off trailing all the way out to Dog Slaughter Falls and then dropping down on the opposite side of the falls from where the trail brings you in, but I don't know if I really feel up for all that. So we're gonna go see if we can find a spot to cross the creek. And if not, we will have to hike all the way out to the opposite side of Dog Slaughter. So let's go up here, see what happens. All right, so after making that steep scramble up that hillside here, we came out on this old road bed. Pretty cool. This is probably the way people go in and out from here. So we're gonna follow this out, see where it goes. We got a bearing tree right here. Property marker here. But we're gonna keep going out here, follow this old road bed. See if it doesn't lead us back down to Dog Slaughter Creek. Well, that old roadbed is taking us up to the top of the ridge here, out around the end of it. So this might bring us out towards the top of Dog Slaughter Falls. Kind of like my original plan to kind of stay off trail out to the falls. So we're gonna keep following out here, see where it goes. All right, so right here, we're kind of coming up on a fork in the road bed here. But this right here tells me this might be the way to go. Somebody's put some orange ribbon on these trees here. And I can see a little bit more just right down the way there. And this is the way we need to go. So we're going to follow this way down. Hopefully be able to access Dog Slaughter Falls. Well, I guess right here, we're entering holy ground. But from here, we cut off that road bed. We're gonna follow the cliff side out through here. It should lead us right down to the falls. So let's go down here and check it out. Yeah, there's a nice well-worn path up here along the cliff side, leading back towards the falls. So it's another sign that we're headed the right way. Now here we are at Dog Slaughter Falls. We were able to come in from the opposite side. First time doing that, so that was pretty cool. Really good flow on the falls today. Got beautiful color in the water. Get that nice kind of blue-green during the winter. Really nice. Me and Kane are gonna hang out here a little bit. Let him get some food again. And we'll cross back over to the other side over there. Get some pictures and videos, head down to the river.
Yeah, there's some really nice cascades and small waterfalls leading downstream towards the river from Dog Slaughter Falls. This time of year you get some pretty good views of them. But we're about to come up on the uh, Sheltoe Trace up here. Usually we'll head north, go off to the right, cross the footbridge over Dog Slaughter Creek. But for today, I think we're going to head south on the Sheltoe. There's an arch out here I want to go check out. So let's go up here, hit the Sheltoe, head up river along the Cumberland River. Yeah, right here we're coming up on the Sheltoe Trace. We'll usually cut down to the right here, across the footbridge over there, and there's a nice little beach spot right off the trail we like to go to. Like I said, today, we're going to head south on the Sheltoe, stay up here off to the left, go out here, check out Moonbow Arch. Yeah, right here along the trail, you can look down on that beach spot. River's up quite a bit. Wouldn't have much fun trying to play fetch over there anyway today, so probably a good thing we skipped on going to it. But let's head out here, go check out this arch. Yeah, the Cumberland River is up pretty high. We've had quite a bit of rain recently. Got the river back up to flood stage. I don't know how far out through here we'll be able to go today. We'll see if we can cross on this driftwood pile out through here, get back on the trail. It's always a little sketchy coming across these driftwood piles. You never know how solid your footing is. But seems pretty solid through here. And right back here, the trail goes back up away from the river. We should be fine. Check out the beautiful color in the sandstone right here. Really vibrant color. Really nice. All right, right here we're entering into Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. Coming up on uh, the Moonbow Trail right here. 
Shell Toey Trace is going to continue straight out through here. Trail number two, the Moonbow Trail. It's a loop. You can go up that way on it. But here we're going to keep going out to Shell Toey Trace. Go check out Moonbow Arch. And then right here, I think is where we're going to cut up the hill right here. I think I see the arch from here. Right up there in the cliff line, so... Let's go up here, check it out. Now here we are at Moonbow Arch. Pretty cool arch up here in the cliff line. Got a nice big rock shelter in here. Opens all the way back over through here. And you get the arch opening right back there. Pretty cool. It's just up here on the cliff side, right up from the Sheltoe Trace, Cumberland River right down there. Might be kind of hard to pick up the river. Lot of contrast on the video, but pretty cool. My friend, fellow hiker, and fellow YouTuber Dustin Robinson is the one that found this arch and documented it. So, pretty cool to come out and see something he's found. Really nice arch, though. If you ever want to check out his adventures, I'll leave a link in the description of the video so you can check out his channel. Give him a follow. All right, now we're back down the hillside here, back on the Shell Toey Trace. From here, we're gonna hike back out the way we come in along the Shell Toey. So this time we're gonna turn and head north. We're gonna head back up to Dog Slaughter Creek, back to Dog Slaughter Trail. We'll hike out past Dog Slaughter Falls on our way out.
Now here we are back at the trail junction of the Dog Slaughter Trail and the Shell Toey Trace. Shell Toey Trace continues north down to the left there. But for us, we're going to head straight, stay on the upper level here, hike out Dog Slaughter Trail, out past Dog Slaughter Falls. Yeah, we just got a quick look at Dog Slaughter Falls on our hike back out. But from here, we're going to continue on out the Dog Slaughter Trail. Back out to that second pull-off off of Forest Service Road 195. The one that makes the hike a little bit shorter. Shaves off, I think, in total about four miles. I think it's the extra two miles from that first trailhead to the second one. We usually go to that second one. Make it a shorter hike, but I'm gonna hike back out, cross that sketchy footbridge, load up, head home. All right, now we're coming back up on the damaged footbridge, crossing Dog Slaughter Creek. We'll let Kane go first here. And we'll shimmy our way across here also. Not bad. It's got to have pretty decent balance, but it's doable. Yes, me and Kane are loaded up in the car now, making the drive back out for service road 195. Had a great day out here hiking though. Saw a total of five waterfalls and one arch. The arch was new to me, and four of the waterfalls were new to me. And then the one old favorite, Dog Slaughter Falls. Great day, great flow on everything. I think we might have found one undocumented falls today, so we'll go home get that submitted, see if it's undocumented or not. So that's pretty cool. We're pretty tired. We got seven miles in today, so it's pretty good. But like I said, we loaded up, headed home. But as always, thanks for tagging along with me and the Cane Boy. Till next time.